That's just one instance. Uh, this is an ugly and dangerous business serving papers because nobody wants to be served. Rachel Fizet is a criminal defense attorney based in L.A. Uh, Rachel, I've never been served and I pray I never will be. Um, so I have a lot of questions about this. First of all, few I think would dispute um, that that was appropriate on stage in front of thousands of people. Um, not a great moment. But the question I have is, was it legal? Well, it's legal. I mean, I think the question is whether they were trespassing. That becomes more of the question is if they were allowed to be there anyway, whoever the service processor was. And I think they are looking into their security team to see how that person got past the gates. So that's question number one is, could they be there? Were they trespassing? Now, was it legal to serve her on stage? Yes. So service may require personal service. Um, and that is why they were trying to track her down, I guess. And they went to pretty great lengths to do this. But this it has happened before. Dr. Dre was served at his grandmother's funeral with family law documents. I mean, people go through some pretty great lengths and it can be pretty nasty. Uh, service. Yeah, as we're seeing, um, the celebrities are a lot harder, though, to get access to to serve papers. I mean, they've got security. Um, they're in places that the general public just isn't. So does that complicate serving papers in a situation like this? Was this appar apparently the only opportunity they may have thought they had? Often a lawyer, lawyer to lawyer, you just kind of arrange service. So if you are in on speaking terms, lawyer to lawyer, often it just happens in that way. So that's one way to uncomplicate the service issue. Sometimes service is done personally in this kind of way for an effect. I think that Jason Sudeikis is denying that is the case, although it looks pretty nasty here. And then the other thing is, yes, Marnie, sometimes it's just really hard to track somebody down. So you'll have a service processor following somebody for weeks sometimes, and then they just take whatever opportunity they have to mm. serve the papers. Which, which makes me wonder, I mean, what are some of the other parameters? Like what makes it count? Like, do you have to actually hand it to them? Do you drop it in front of them? Do you have to make eye contact? Like, how do you actually serve successfully? So it's state by state, but personally serving does, you do have to hand them the document. Um, sometimes they'll leave it on a doorstep and they'll know you're there or they'll see you running away. And then you have to go to court and kind of argue that you weren't served because they, you weren't handed the document. So most people, you know, you also can't evade service. That's, that's a real thing too. So you're not allowed to be running from the service. But people so do, right? Of course they do. It is so hard to serve people that don't want to get served. So it, it's a whole complicated thing. Um, but and you don't want to get nasty. But I, I mean, I can't say I haven't had process servers in bushes. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. And I just I can't believe, Rachel, that with all the technology that we have, that this is still the way that we do it. <laughs> Well, so you can agree to different service once a case has started. And once again, you're on speaking terms. Uh, and again, this is usually lawyer to lawyer. So then you serve the lawyer and and, no, and you either serve it personally to their office. COVID has made it really difficult to even serve other businesses because no one is at the business anymore. So service has gotten complicated for a variety of ways. But I assume from now on, uh, these this couple should have some kind of service agreement going forward. Do you wonder, and I know this is tough and I'm going out on a, on a limb here, but like such a high profile event like this, if, if there's more to it, right? Like how could it's, this have happened? It's not a great look. It, yeah. It's, it's not a great look. It, it feels, it, it feels a little vindictive. Again, they're denying it. So maybe this was just an accident, but lawyers and process service are usually talking. Mm. So there is, you know, so a process server will say, should I serve them here? And you will say yes or no, or, or is there, there is direction. They are under someone's direction. Yeah, and in all this, uh, two kids are involved. It is, it is ugly any way you slice it. Um, I do give her credit. She went on with her speech, kind of looked at it, saw what it was and didn't let it phase her. So um, there is that. <laughs> Rachel Fizet, um, what a story, what a moment uh, for so many to witness uh, firsthand. Good to see you.
Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.